Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am able to review the Red Odeo, uh, but not this one. This one I actually reviewed uh, July of last year. So that was what, 11 months ago? And this thing is still running strong, but Red Odeo actually brought me a different 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, and it is the Mini. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll kind of do some comparisons and, uh, and see what we got. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one out of the way and open this one up. You can tell that this, this standard size Red Audio, which I call it, I, in my other video, I called it Red Odo because that's just what I see, Red Odo. But I've come to learn that it's actually pronounced Red Odeo. So uh, I apologize for the mispronunciation of this through all of that. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have. As soon as you open it, you have the very nice uh, user manual packet. And I noticed that with uh, some other batteries that I've reviewed, uh, like the, the 50 amp hour uh, Power Queen. It comes in this nice plastic sleeve uh, with the manual and uh, a nice like beginner's booklet. So these are really nice. Okay, uh, and now it just has a little part right here where the, the post bolts are. So you go ahead and just pull this open and here's all your, your bolts for your posts. So we'll be using those. And then here is the battery. Oh, let's just go ahead and pull these off. I like how it's nice and well protected. Nice thick foam. And here is the battery. All right, let's go ahead and take this plastic off. All right, and right when you pull it out of the box, it does have the, uh, the post uh, protectors, like the covers right here, which I really like. That way they don't get damaged. Uh, during shipping and you can easily just pop those off there you go this battery is uh, IP65 rated so it's completely waterproof um, the reason I don't pull apart my batteries is because I like to keep them that way let's go ahead and turn it this way and right off the bat it looks exactly like the Red Odeo standard size which is, like i said is i received this one you know 11 months ago and you can tell that you know they haven't really changed much uh, when it comes to the design or anything like that uh, it has all the same uh information on the front of the battery 12.8 volts 100 amp hours it does say mini uh, but you could tell that by the size uh, same color scheme And then the other side has, you know, the same information as the, as the original. Made in China, LiPo 4, uh, all the protections and the, um, and the warnings. And then just uh, a, standard, a standard symbol for Red Odeo and a 12.8, uh, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour image. But look at the size of this thing compared to the original Red Odeo. I mean, it, it is actually about, I would say a quarter of an inch taller. Yeah, so it's about a quarter of an inch taller, but it is three, it's three inches smaller in width, and it is two inches smaller in depth. And it's the same capacity. And if you want to know the exact dimensions of this, it is 10.24 inches in length, 8.96 inches in height, and 5.24 inches in depth. And this battery has a five year warranty. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check the voltage on it. Um, if it's shipped to us correctly, it should be right around 13.1 something, possibly 13.2, but let's go ahead and check it. Okay, and the voltage is 
13.12. That is exactly where it should be. That's perfect. I'm not gonna mess around, so let's go ahead and just get this thing charged up to 100%. And then we're gonna do a capacity test to make sure that this smaller size Red Odeo has the same capacity as its big brother over here. Okay, I just opened up the post bolts uh, backing, the packing, and I do love the fact that they give you two sets of uh, post bolts, and then they give you uh, these little plastic covers, so that way, once you have everything installed, you put these on there, and then that way, if you drop a wrench on the battery or something like that, it's not gonna make a short. So that is always nice, that's very thoughtful. And you know, when I first started reviewing batteries, I, I was kinda like, you know, it's nice that you get two sets of, of these uh, post bolts, but I feel like it's a waste. But just think if you were like on, in your RV or on a boat or something like that, and you happen to just be, I don't know, moving the batteries around, you're taking the, you know, you're disconnecting your conductors from, your, from these and, and you accidentally drop this. I mean, I know you probably wouldn't be in a situation where you drop it in the water or, but there's plenty of crevices in an RV that you just can't reach. And if you drop this and you only have one set, I mean, that could be devastating. So having two sets uh, really could be a game changer if you, if you absolutely need them. All right, and I've also got my 20 amp charger. Uh, for 100 amp hour batteries, uh, it's always recommended that you charge them at a 0.2C rate, which would be 20 amps. So that's why I'm using a 20 amp charger. Uh, we're gonna look at the documentation to see what the max charge rate is and the max discharge rate. So we'll be looking at those in just a little bit. And like I said in previous battery videos, uh, this plastic sleeve is nice. Um, I mean, I guess it'd be really nice if you were on a boat and you don't want it to get wet, but um, I, I just think it's overkill. But hey, if they're gonna supply it, then that's great. All right, first of all, let's look at this. Uh, this, is, oh my gosh, it's uh, a bunch of stickers. I have never, I've never gotten a sticker pack with my batteries before. So uh, that's, that's interesting. Uh, but like I said, I, I've, never, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, I think it's fun, but definitely not needed. All right, and then they have the Red Odeo uh, quick, quick Guide, which is really nice uh, for people that have never worked with uh, you know, storage batteries before. <clears throat> it tells you the, the real quick of what you should and shouldn't do. Your long-term storages, uh, you know, your notices. There's also the backside where, uh, you know, it should be shipped at 30 to 50% capacity. You should charge it to 100% capacity before you start using it. Uh, there's also operating precautions. Uh, just a real quick guide on, uh, on what to do with this battery. All right, and then these manuals. I, I really like these manuals because they are very comprehensive. They tell you basically everything that you need to know about the battery. Um, you know, the charging voltages, the max discharge is 100 amps. Uh, the recommended charge current is 20 amps, uh, but it doesn't say anything about a, a, max, a max charge rate, so we'll hopefully find something about that. Uh, it does come with M8 bolts. Uh, here's a bunch of safety instructions and warnings. And uh, then here's uh, wow, the content, recommended cable sizing, connecting in parallel and series charging methods. Yeah, here are all the parameters for the battery. It tells you the cell type, which is a uh, LiPo 4, nominal voltage 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour capacity. That makes it the energy of 1280 watt hours. Uh, your charge voltage, that means when it's full, it should be uh, between 14.2 and 14.6 for a completely full charge. A recommended charge current again is 20 amps. Oh, max continuous charge current is 100 amps. So you can actually push 100 amps in this battery if you needed to. I don't personally recommend charging at that rate, but it is possible before the uh, BMS in the battery 
shuts off. Continuous discharge rate is also 100 amps. Uh, maximum discharge rate for five seconds, you can pull 250 amps from this battery for about five seconds. Uh, it shows the dimensions of the battery. Uh, like I said, it's made out of ABS, so it's flame retardant. Uh, it's an IP65 rating. And your charging ranges is between zero degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius for charging. Discharge is negative 20 to 60. Your storage is negative 10 to 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, this right here where it says charging zero degrees Celsius to 50, that right there tells me that this battery does not have cold temperature protection when it comes to charging. So um, if you're gonna be buying these batteries and you live in a cold climate, make sure that you buy a solar charge controller that will compensate for the, uh, the temperature. You want a charge controller that will not charge when the temperature gets below zero. All right, here it just talks about the charging methods, how to series connect and parallel connect. Uh, you can connect these batteries. Uh, you can actually have up to 16 of these batteries connected. You can have four in series to make it a 48 volt battery. And then you can put four 48 volt batteries in parallel to make a 48 volt, 400 amp hour battery bank. And if you are gonna be buying multiple batteries, it does show you exactly how you should wire everything. And then what you should do if your battery stops working. Uh, this is actually pretty nice. I don't know if I've seen this in other manuals because um, this is a huge question. Uh, because if this battery gets below um, a certain voltage, uh, and actually it shows if the voltage gets below nine volts, and that is super low. But if it gets below nine volts, this, the BMS in the battery will completely shut off. That way it protects the cells. Um, and now this section right here tells you what you should do if it does shut off. And what you really need to do is you just need to find another 12 volt source in order to uh, put 12 volts onto that BMS by just connecting it to the, uh, to the posts and it will wake that BMS back up. So I always recommend having a charger that can wake up, that can wake up a BMS. Uh, the charger I'm using right now, this Hasido, definitely does do that. But it also says that you can just, uh, you, can, you can set the battery aside for like 30 minutes and maybe the voltage of the cells will rise back up. That way it'll wake the battery back up. Or you can actually connect a 18 to 36 volt solar panel to it uh, for three to 10 seconds and that will wake up the battery as well. All right, I like that manual, it's nice. All right, one thing that I did notice uh, that I couldn't find in the manual was actually the weight of the battery. Um, and I actually had to go onto the Amazon site because I couldn't find it on their website either. Uh, but for this original size uh, Red Odeo battery, it is 25.4 pounds. The Mini is 21.3 pounds. So that's a little over four pounds lighter for the same uh, amp hours. I, th I find that amazing. I mean, it really just goes to show what the technology has done just in the past year, from when I reviewed this battery to today when I'm reviewing the Red Odeo Mini. So, okay, this is charging. We're gonna go ahead and let it go, and I will come back when it is at 100%, and we will start the discharge test to make sure that this thing is a lion and that it can actually pull out 100 amp hours. Okay, our battery is completely full. I went ahead and charged it up with the, the uh, Hasido battery charger. And then what I did was I put it on my variable charger and I made sure that it was at 14.46. So that should be plenty full. Um, and now I have it all connected. You can see that I have some repurposed uh, battery clamps that I pulled off of like a uh, jump charger and they are connected to my 2000 watt Lee Sky inverter. Uh, and then this inverter is plugged into this, I believe it's a 400 watt halogen lamp. This isn't gonna be a 0.2C test, it's probably gonna be more like a 0.35 to a 0.4C test. Uh, but I wanna see if this little tiny battery does hold 100 amp hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up the inverter and we're gonna get this show on the road. All right.
right? And you can see our, uh, our capacity is already going up. The test has begun. Looks like we're using, yeah, 470 watts. So that is 35 amps, so that's a 0.35 C test. So I'll be back down in a probably about three hours when the test is done, and we'll see what our capacity is. All right, uh, Keats and I just came down here to find out what was buzzing and beeping, and our test is done. So let's turn off this inverter and see what number we got. All right, we got the, inver we got the inverter turned off, and our final number is 104 amp hours. And the, to the test took three hours and 15 minutes. That gave us 1.33 kilowatt hours. So I would say that this test passed with flying colors. Uh, I just find it amazing that this Red, Red Odeo 100 amp hour battery, Mini, is the same amp hour capacity of this original and it's a you know and it's a third smaller Th that it just amazes me all right well that just about does it for the testing of this red odeo 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery i have to say that this smaller form factor is uh perfect like i said it's a it's a third smaller than the original battery but it has all the same features it has uh, 100 amp hours it's 12.8 volt nominal um, you can discharge and charge it at 100 amps I mean you can even discharge it for five seconds at 250 amps it's a uh, IP65 waterproof uh, you know it uses MA bolts it's everything I mean even even it even has the same nylon strap uh, it weighs four pounds less and it just works. It's a perfect storage battery. The only thing that this battery doesn't have is that cold temperature charging protection. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the uh, Red Odeo 100 amp hour 12 volt mini, uh, please leave them in the comments and um, you'll have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye bye.